Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time takes place about a year ago. Me and my friend were like an hour away from my hometown on a road trip. So we got a hotel for the night to sleep at. So we stayed the night at this hotel. The hotel was actually really, really nice. So we decided to stay a second night. And on the second night, that's where this story time begins. Um, my friend lost his key card to get into the room. And I only had mine. So every time he left the room, I'd either have to be in the room to let him back in, or I'd have to leave the door cracked open like with a shoe, or I'd have to like turn the lock before I shut it so the lock would stop it from fully closing. And he was too lazy to go to the desk and just get a new fucking key card, so we had to keep doing that. And the final time was when we learned to stop fucking doing that because he wanted to go to the pool to go swimming, and I wanted to go to the snack bar to upload a video because the Wi-Fi in the hotel room itself kind of sucked. So down at the snack bar where there was like tables and stuff, I could just sit there and upload and the Wi-Fi was a little bit better. So that was the plan. He was going to go to the pool. I was going to go to the snack bar. And then right when we were about to leave, I was like, okay, meet up with me after you get done with the pool and I'll come let you in. He's like, nah, man, don't even do that. Like, just leave the door cracked. Like, leave it unlocked. Because I don't want to be cold and soaking wet from the pool just waiting for you to let me in. I'm like, dude, just come grab me out of the snack bar and I'll come let you in. He's like, yeah, but I don't want to walk around all cold and wet. I'm like, dude, you're bringing a towel. You'll be fine. He's like, dude, just please leave the door unlocked. I'm like, all right, here, you take the key card and you can let yourself in when you're done and then you can let me in when I'm done. He's like, no, I don't want the responsibility of it. Like, what if I lose it? I'm like, bro, it's a fucking plastic card. We'll get another one. He's like, no, dude, just take it. I'm like, okay, fine, fuck it. So we both leave the room and we leave the door cracked open and I thought that nothing would happen, but I go down to the snack bar. My friend goes down to the pool and after like 30, 45 minutes, my friend texts me. He's like, yo, I'm done. I'm going back to the room now. I'm like, all right, cool. Me too. And we both met back up at the front door of the room. And I had the key card, which means we could have just locked the door the whole fucking time. We didn't need to crack it open because he texted me when he got done. And I was done at the same time. So, like, there was literally no fucking need to leave our room unlocked with all our stuff in it the whole fucking time. And that's what I told him when we got to the front door. He's like, whatever, man. Like, it's not a big deal. Look. And he opens the door. And when he said this, it was the most ironic thing I've ever seen because he goes, look, bro, it's fine. And he opens the door to prove like, oh, look, nothing happened. Nothing got stolen. And there's a fucking dude just standing in the middle of our room who we've never seen before and who doesn't work at the hotel. And I'm just like, oh, my fuck. And the guy turns around and he's like, oh, oh, oh so sorry, guys, I must be in the wrong room. And then I look around and I notice that all my stuff's rearranged. Like my stuff's all over the bed. My friend's stuff's all over the bed. Like everything was just completely rearranged. And I look at him. I'm like. Yeah, no shit, you're in the wrong room. You're in here stealing all our stuff. He's like, no, 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 I'm not stealing anything. And then my friend takes over and he goes, yeah, you fucking are. Why is all our shit all over the room? What the fuck are you doing in here? Empty your pockets. What'd you steal? And he gets all up in his face, like ready to fight him. And I'm just standing there like, what the fuck? Is this actually happening right now? And my friend makes this guy empty his pockets. And then after he empties his pockets, he starts patting the guy down, fucking searching him to make sure he didn't steal any of our stuff. And after he gets done and finds out the guy had nothing on him, he goes, all right, man, so what's going to happen here? What are we going to do here? And the guy just goes, please, please just don't tell the security. Like, please don't. And he starts whipping out his wallet, and he takes out all the money in his wallet and gives it to my friend. And my friend counts it and goes, all right, get out of here. We're going to make sure you leave the hotel, though. So get all your shit out of whatever room you're staying in and leave. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, when did my friend become such a fucking, like, boss? Like, I've never seen him take control of such a serious situation and, like, make demands like that and actually intimidate people. Like, he's usually the fucking nerdiest kid. So anyway, after the guy gives my friend his money, my friend and me follow him down to his hotel room down the hall, watch this guy pack up all his stuff. He was staying there alone. And then we walk down to the lobby with him to watch him check out. And while we're at the desk, my friend goes, yeah, don't let this guy stay at your hotels anymore. He tried to rob our room just now. And the lady's like, what? And she immediately calls security. Security gets there. And the dude completely admitted it. He's like, yep, I tried to steal from the room. Like, it's my fault. You can ban me. And they were like, do you want us to call the cops? And me and my friend were like, nah, he didn't steal anything. Like, we checked. All of our stuff's still there. Just ban him. And that's what they did. They literally banned him from every one of their hotels in the area. And fucking kicked him out they put him on like a list to make sure he can never come back and as security was escorting him out my friend takes out all of his money that the guy gave him and just goes here man take your money back i don't want it and the guy just goes nah man what i did was scummy keep it and he let my friend keep his money even though my friend was trying to be like the better person and give it back and yeah my friend gave me half of it it was like 100 bucks so in total the dude gave my friend 200 and yeah, we went back up to the room, did one more search to make sure all our shit was okay, and I only brought my clothes and my laptop and a microphone, and all of that was still there, as well as like my wallet and my phone, but that was on me at the time. 
so yeah, like literally everything was fine for me, and my friend claims that nothing of his got stolen, so in the end, all was okay. Sometimes I kind of feel bad for that guy who was uh, trying to steal stuff, because, uh, you know, he just wasn't really on the right road. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the story time. Moral of the story is, don't ever leave your doors unlocked if you're not home or in a hotel or anything for that matter. Just be safe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Please leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it. Leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.